our students are unparalleled in their ability to go into practice once they graduate from OIT. The mission of the College of Engineering Technology and Management at the Oregon Institute of Technology is to educate our students to become leaders in the areas of engineering technology and management. Oregon Tech is a teaching university. That's our specialty. The college has six academic departments. For engineering, we have civil engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, and renewable energy engineering. 0.2 amps, 8.4 volts. The electrical engineering and renewable energy department at OIT is different from other departments across the U.S. We have brought together PhDs and professional engineers um, in electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, physics, physical chemistry, and material science. Now, this multidisciplinary mix provides for a richer educational experience and it also mimics better the workplace that our graduates are going to encounter in the field. We have also been awarded a $3 million grant from the Department of Energy. Uh, the objective of the grant was to train the next generation of modern power engineers. Um, with this grant, we have been able to build excellent lab facilities uh, with state-of-the-art equipment that can be used both for instruction and applied research. Here at Oregon Tech, we like to get students into the laboratory as soon as possible. In the lab, students are uh, both designing, constructing, and testing materials that they will be using as civil engineers. That could range from building a chicken coop in freshman year uh, through to designing a reinforced concrete beam as a junior, um, running pavement tests as a senior or graduate student. We take theory, we take uh, process, we take engineering practice, and we, we drive it into our laboratories where students get to see it come alive. We take it out into field experiences where they get to see it applied and they understand where numbers come from and how they're used. This is something that a lot of students don't normally get to do uh, in civil engineering programs that are, that are based purely in the classroom. The Formula SAE project is an international competition, and the students go in and they design, build, and then finally test a Formula-style race car. The preparation is very intense. They have to draw up the pro project. They have to do all the stress analysis on it. They design the aerodynamics around the project. And then, of course, all the fabrication, the welding, the machining, et cetera, takes a tremendous amount of time. The combination of both mechanical and manufacturing on, in one department really helps build this project. The school is involved with the uh, local robotics club. The school is involved from a mentor standpoint, and that's a group of high school and select junior high students that actually go out and design and build robotic robots for competitions. So they actually compete with, with teams from all over the world. The team has done very well in the past. This board and this board can run thousands of games. They are extremely cool projects that are original and very applicable to the field of computing. The computer system engineering technology department is uh, comprised of three programs, software engineering, hardware engineering, and embedded system engineering. The CSET program is quite unique, in, in, even in OIT, in that our blend, uh, our mixture of theory and applied laboratory, I believe is almost perfect. It, it, it provides great joy to the students, and uh, because of this joy, they can contribute to the department their institution, and the community here as a whole. And when they get out of here, they're extremely prepared and eager to contribute to society.